Good morning and welcome to the Weekly Insights with John Plassard. Hardly a day goes without analysts, economists and the media talking about the fear of monetary normalization. Contrary to popular belief, I believe that a tapering will be a real relief for the investors because the Fed will progressively normalize the monetary policy for good reasons. Higher inflation, lower unemployment rate, and a tremendous economic growth. Let's recall that the longer the Fed does nothing, the more likely it is to lose control of the inflation altogether. And so we expect that within the next few weeks ahead of the Fed's September meeting, even in August during Jackson Hole, the narrative will change accordingly. As you might know, you better be ahead of the curve than behind the curve. Secondly, there is too much liquidity in the market. According to the latest figures, banks have deposited a record amount of $433 billion in reserves with the New York Fed through its so-called reverse repo operations. A tapering will therefore be able to reduce the pressure on this excess liquidity. Thirdly, we believe that the Fed's mandate will soon be fulfilled. Price stability, inflation to 2% and full unemployment. unemployment. Lastly, because forward guidance is finally working, min mindful of the taper trend of 2013, when the yield of the US 10 years doubled in just four months to flirt with 3% following the announcement of the end of the, of the Fed asset purchases, the US Central Bank have overused forward guidance in recent weeks and months. Regarding the fear of a rate hike, let's recall that key US interest rate went from 0.25 in December 2020, uh, 2015 to 2.5 in December 2018. During the same period, the ninth DAC went up nearly 45%. To sum up, contrary to what the consensus anticipates, an announcement of tapering over the next few weeks, months should not shock the markets. The reason is that such a normalization will be triggered for good economic reasons. Thank you very much. Have a great, great week. Stay safe, read my morning, and of course, keep on winning.